Hey everyone, this is Katie with The Kramer Life. Today I thought I'd take you along with me as I prepare a fresh meal utilizing the meat and vegetables grown here on the farm and also given to us by our neighbors. So I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna start with making a homemade mayonnaise. Now I'm gonna prep the corn. For this, I'm gonna actually put these on the grill and they're gonna just smoke. So our neighbor gave us this corn. It was the first batch of the season. So I'm really excited to see how these are. So I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit, just taking off the silky hairs and <laughs> removing any of the worms that are in there. And I'm gonna put the husks back on them That'll prevent them from getting too cooked or charred while they're in the smoker. I don't do anything else to them at this point. I'll actually season them once they're cooked, but I want to get these started because the corn takes quite a long time, about 45 minutes, and I want to make sure that I have enough time to cook the chicken and the corn will be done. corn's on, I'm gonna grab some kale and maybe some chard to add into the veggies to saute. Just gonna give it a quick rinse and set it aside because we don't need it right now. It'll be one of the last things we prepare. These are the chicken breasts from our homestead when we processed our meat birds just a few weeks ago. Uh, this is just one pair of breasts. Uh, they're boneless, but they still have their skin on. I'm gonna remove their skin and clean them up a little bit. For the chicken breasts, I'm just gonna lightly season them and then I'm going to coat them with the mayonnaise mixture. And I will say, I'm calling it a mixture. I purposefully didn't whip it to the consistency of thick mayonnaise because I wanted to use it a little bit more like a dredge. Next year, I plan on having rosemary, thyme, and garlic all from our homestead. But for now, we'll just use the organic store-bought. While everything's cooking, I wanna take a moment to say a special thanks to today's video sponsor, MSMK. As most of you probably are well aware, when we decided to pick up and sell everything that we owned and move into an RV trailer, I had to downsize significantly from my normal cooking. And any of you who know me know how much I love to cook. So I was very excited to get a new pot and pan set, uh, especially some nonstick frying pans. The reason I went and selected this brand in this uh, style was because of the the nonstick factors. I really like the fact that you can take these pans straight from the stove top and put them inside the oven because they're oven safe up to 700 degrees. On the homestead here we get at least 12 eggs a day so that means I'm cooking eggs a lot for both us and the animals. I've cooked eggs several different ways and I'm happy to say that I've never had eggs stick to the pan with or without any type of spray, butter, or oils. Another feature that I really like is the Y-shaped handle, the way it distributes the heat. So when you're cooking, especially multiple items at a time, you can grab the handle easily and move it out of the way and you won't burn yourself. Because they have a nice stainless steel bottom, it also helps to distribute the heat evenly so you don't have to worry about hot spots on your food and everything cooks the way it should. 
So if you're looking for a new pot and pan set or even just a new skillet, I highly recommend you check out the link in the description below where you can save on your MSMK pans. Now let's get back to cooking. All right, so everything here is from either our garden, our neighbor's garden, or the chickens that we processed. We have a kind of just a vegetable medley. It's green peppers, onions, garlic, and kale. We have a mayo that I made a scratch-based mayo with eggs from oh, our chickens. Nice. Um, and then just an herb-crusted mayo-based chicken. Okay. And then the corn from our neighbors, and I just put a little bit of sour cream and the mayo with some black pepper and a little bit of Parmesan. Wow, look at you so, go. Hope yeah, you that. enjoy. Thank you. Oh, that's good. The salad, or the, mel the, the uh, veggie, melody. veggie melody, it's refreshing. See what you think about the chicken. Mm -hmm. That's good. 
All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, well, everyone. Take care. Bye, everybody. Thanks, mm -hmm. babe. This is great. Yep. Well, thank you all so much for coming along with me today as I cooked and prepped a chicken skillet mill. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What are your favorite or go-to chicken skillet recipes? Or is there anything else uh, that you'd like me to share or cook up? I'd really like to continue to do some cooking videos and I'm always looking for new recipes and new things to try. So thank you so much for watching. Take care and until the next one, bye.